bracelets broke this morning it's this one which i've fixed and then oh it's back over there the one with the face the one with the big eyes face thing broke and i was like oh i added another onto this one and then i added this onto those those things onto the necklace and i'm going to see if i can extend this one i think i know how so i'm going to try that today and Probably make a few more of them. That one. Oh, and look what mom and dad bought me. They got me the yellow one because I was like, I wanted the yellow one. I love the green one, but I wanted the yellow one. So they went back and bought it for me. I'm like, hmm, I wonder if I pester them and say, I really, really wanted that black one if they go back. But I'm not going to do that. So I got two of them, so that's pretty awesome. I'm excited. <laughs> some reason, even though I was cooking dinner then, I had to prepare the food for the next night's dinner, too. I don't know why, because I usually don't prepare stuff. Not to mention that I wasn't sure why Dad wanted the same thing two nights in a row. Jeez, I can't even remember now. I'm trying to remember, it's on the tip of my tongue. His mom and Evie went to go to some kind of museum thing, I think. To look around, but I didn't want to go. But when I walked outside, jean jacket on, my jeans, and black high top converse, not the knee high ones, just the regular high top ones, and there are two guys on their bicycle, scooter, motorcycle things, I knew them, but I didn't know their names, and I was teasing something about like, oh, I shouldn't ju totally just jump in front of you right now. And they were just like, yo, what's up? And I said I was going somewhere and I'd be back to chill later. And then I was... In the van. With mom. And I was like, I need to get out and go back home because I have to walk, but I don't know how far it is. And then all of a sudden, I was Matilda or something from that movie. And so finally, I got Mom to stop the van for a second so that I could get out. That's about it. I turned it into an extended X base with some stars. Wanted to show you guys. I'm not actually making it as a headband, I don't think. But I just figured I would try it on. It's a little small, so the beads are like spaced out in the back, and I don't like that. But I thought it looked kind of cute. I might make a bigger one later, like this on the top, so it can be like a headband and stuff. I used a bracelet pattern from the other website to make a candy out of it. It's all glow in the dark. I tried taking a picture of it glowing in the dark, but it's not bright enough. Okay, so I just remembered one of my dreams from last night. I was going through my dream book, and I remembered it. Um, I was in, like, a store. I want to say it was like Target back up in Midland. I'm not entirely sure. But anyways, um, there was like larger spaces. And there was something. I don't know if it was the government that was doing it. Or if it was just a fluke. Or what was going on. But I found out that apparently there was something wrong with the entire city. And they were going to fumigate us. Which would mean that it would kill all of us. 
and it, like, the gases were going to be emitted from one of the factories that was nearby. Of course, granted, it wouldn't have actually been Midland, because there's no factories in Midland, but anyways, um, a bunch of people were up front, it had something to do with books, but that was, like, unimportant, and I looked outside, and I saw the factory, and it was, there was, like, a cloud of sorts that was rising, and I'm like, oh, they started it early, because it was supposed to go that night, but it was daytime. And I can't remember if it was, like, a dark-colored cloud or if it was clear with strange, like, waves, like when you can see heat waves or something. But it was something, and then I ran back inside, and everyone was, like, huddled up, and then we froze. Like, everybody froze, but you were still alive, you just couldn't move. And then... I can't remember what I was thinking or trying to do, but suddenly I, like, broke free, and I was alive, and I was fine, and it had something to do with they were fumigating it or killing off the people who had no actual desire to live, and those who had, like, true love in their hearts were the only ones who could live or something. Why do I keep thinking that the gas cloud was green? But anyways, I survived. And I think one or two other people that I knew survived. But it was weird because even though I, like, broke free, I could still feel the strange feeling like everyone else was who was still stuck in it. There were, like, people that I knew in there, too, but they were people from way back when that I don't know anymore. So that was probably the strangest part. Because there's that familiarity, but not of anyone that I know currently. I also remember something about caterpillars in there. But I don't know what they had to do with anything. But there were caterpillars. Hey guys! I'm gonna go to bed early tonight, even though I slept late because I'm tired. So hopefully I'll wake up early tomorrow. I hope you all have a wonderful night, slash morning, slash whatever it is, wherever you are. And I'll talk to you all tomorrow. Good night. Our love will break through this maze